we're going to be learning about the basics of trigonometry. Now, we're going to be focusing on a right angle triangle for now. Okay, we're going to try and uh, label the features of this triangle. Okay, that's related to trigonometry. So in trigonometry, it's, a, it's about a relationship between the angles and the, the length of the sides. Okay, so if I have, say, an angle in here, we're going to call that theta. Okay, so I want you to familiarize yourselves with this little symbol. Okay, we're going to be using theta a lot to represent angles in this triangle. Now, like I said, it's a, trigonometry is a relationship between this angle and the side lengths. Okay, so let's try and label the side lengths of this right angle triangle. Okay, well, we know the most basic one is the longer side, which we usually call the hypotenuse. Okay, that's the longest one, and it's also opposite to my right angle. Now, a little bit more specific to the angle. Okay, now, angle, and we have these two sides here. Okay, so we have specific names that we usually call them. So the angle here is theta. Now, the angle opposite, or sorry, the side opposite to that angle is we're just going to call that the opposite side. Okay, so the opposite side is the one opposite to my theta or my angle. Now similarly, the one right next to it is going to be called adjacent. Okay, so adjacent just means right next to. Okay, so intuitively this is our hypotenuse, my opposite side and my adjacent side. Now if we have another triangle, but my theta is in a different position. So it's the same triangle, but if my theta is up here. Okay, so if my angle is up there, um, in this triangle, well my hypotenuse is still going to be the longer side, so that's not going to change. Okay, but these two sides might. So if this is theta, then my opposite angle, okay, that's my opposite side there. Okay, then we're going to call that the opposite. And then this side in this, in this triangle is going to be called the adjacent side. Okay, so depending on where my angle is, the opposite and the adjacents will you know, shift around. Okay, usually the hypotenuse is going to be relatively the same because it's the longer side. So that's what we're going to be focusing on now. We're going to try and focus on labeling these uh, different sides of this triangle. Okay, so that's what we're going to try and do. So in question one, we're given another right angle triangle and in part A, it asks us to find the hypotenuse. Okay, so finding the hypotenuse is the easiest part. It's just the longest side, okay, and it's also opposite to my right angle. So that's the, that's the hypotenuse. So to answer the question, let's say it's the side AB. Now, we're going to have to find the side opposite to alpha. Okay, so alpha is this angle there. So the uh, side opposite to alpha, okay, here's alpha, and then this is the, going to be the side that's opposite to there. Okay, so in part B, the answer is BC. That's the side. Okay, and let's find the one that is adjacent to alpha. So there's alpha, then obviously the one right next to it is going to be adjacent. Okay, AC. Okay, so labeling these sides wasn't too difficult. Okay, let's look at question two. So in question two, okay, find the hypotenuse. Again, that's going to be the longer side of my right angle triangle, which is this one, B. Now find the, uh, find the opposite of alpha. Okay, so there's alpha here. Then, whoop, this will be the opposite side. Okay, then A is going to be the side length there. All right, part C, find the adjacent of alpha. So there's alpha and the side adjacent to it right next to it is going to be the side length C. Now we have going to consider the other angle. So we have alpha here and we have another angle called beta here. Okay, again, I want you to try and familiarize yourself with these symbols and names. So finding the uh, one opposite to beta. So here's beta and the one opposite to there will be the side length C. And E, finding the adjacent of beta. Okay, so here's beta, then the one right next to it is the adjacent one, which is going to be the side length A. Okay, so that's how, uh, that's the most fundamental part of trigonometry. Okay, we're just labeling the sides.